Someone tell me what the first step is. Is it to put a zero or equal to zero? Correct. And what would you do? You would subtract the two on both sides. Good job. Right. Now we got to identify what to put in here. So we have A, B, and C. Angel, can you tell me what A is? Can you tell me what B is? Would it be the one? Correct. Angel, what is C? A would be C. Correct. All right, now we plug it in. So, what would be here for negative B? One. Negative one. Then you have the plus or minus. And then you have what would be here for B squared? One. Minus. Negative two over two times ten. Now can someone tell me what this part of the quadratic formula is? Is it a discriminant? Yes, it is. You know what it does? No. Can you please explain? So once we solve it out, this is the basis for how to find the roots of the graph. Mm -hmm. So now we just solve it. X equals negative one plus or minus square root of plus my bad, plus eighty over twenty. minus square root of 81 over 20. Now here's where we start to find the roots of the graph. The roots are the lines, or the points on the graph where the line crosses the x-axis. So here we solve this out. So we separate them into two. x equals negative 1 plus square root of 81 is 9. So plus 9 over 20. And x equals negative 1 plus minus 9 over 20. Now you get these two, you complete them, so x equals negative 10 over 20, which also equals negative 1 half, and here we have x equals negative, this is, third, this is 8, eight. <laughs> or, yeah, this is 8, so this actually equals 2 this, so do not negative. This is negative 10 over 20. This one does equal negative 1 half. So the roots of the graph would be x equals 2 fifths and negative 1 half. So, graph it out. Someone tell me, is a parabola going to be facing upwards or downwards? Upwards. upwards. Because it's awkward. Correct. All right. <laughs> so x equals, when y equals 0, x equals 2 fifths, which is about there, and negative 1 half. There. So somewhere in the middle, y would be about 
third and also among Madres, which means the Y will be about here, and the parabola opens upwards because the first number is positive. And that is how you do the quadratic formula. Oh. Any more questions? Yes. If it were to be negative, would it go downward? Yes. Any more questions? Nice. That's it.